Hey guys, um, welcome to another OpenShift screencast. Um, so on this screencast, I'm just uh, going to show you how to set up the kitchen sink um, quick start for JBoss. And um, I know we've done um, set up the Open MEAP uh, previously, uh, so but this is uh, yet a different um, JBoss AS7 application. So um, we're going to use the JBoss. Um, the JBoss AS7 cartridge to set up the kitchen sink application. So, um, hopefully, you're gonna like this as well. Uh, this is because it uses um, some components of Java. So, you can see how OpenShift allows you to quickly scaffold your Java applications as well. Alright, so I'm gonna pop up a CLI window and I'm going to create using the, um, I'm gonna call this um, maybe kitchen sink. Uh, basically, that's the name. Uh, of course, you can give it any name you like. So I'm going to specify a cartridge here. Uh, this is going to be the JBoss uh, AS7 cartridge, and uh, we're going to use the medium gear. Uh, this is because, uh, like I mentioned previously in uh, the previous screencast, uh, most of the Java applications will require you have um, a gear that has um, more resources, uh, if you will. So in this case, the medium resource, the medium cart um, gear will have um, some uh, have better resource compared to the small gear so we're using the dash g option here to specify the medium gear and we're going to create the application under the openshift user all right so you can see here it's going to use the jboss as7 cartridge and it's going to create it based on the medium gear size and um also uh, this might take some time so um this might be a good time to grab a cup of coffee and um you know be right back when the application scaffolds and continue from there okay so um here you can see that it cannot connect to the jboss management interface um anyway so the application um was created successfully uh here is trying to allow us clone the application so i'm going to go ahead and do that and you can see your application kitchen sink is now available uh this is the url for the application and uh, because we just use the cartridge, uh, basically it's just an empty installation. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use. Um, we're going to point this to our uh, as the upstream Git URL. So by now you should know how to do this. So Git remote add. Um, let's call this OpenShift, and we're going to specify that this is the master um, for the remote. Um, for the remote git repository so here we're going to pull uh, using the recursive strategy um, don't know what the recursive strategy does basically if you're doing some git merge then you understand what this does otherwise you can check out the git documentation for uh, pulling and uh, pushing uh, code to your repository all right so um, we're going to specify that in this case uh, OpenShift in the remote branch will should be matched to the master branch on our local repository here. All right, so this will go ahead and pull the the JBoss cartridge and the kitchen sink application. And once uh, that's done, um, of course you can make some changes. So um, if you open this in the new tab, uh, let me just replace this. So you can see how this works. All right. So um, on the GitHub page, uh, you can see if you want to, if you prefer to use the um, PostgreSQL backend, um, of course you add a PostgreSQL cartridge and you can uh, edit the persistence uh, the XML file and um, kind of change the default HS. Uh, that's the h2 backend to the postgresql backend anyway for now we're just going to leave it as is um just to kind of see if this um our installation works and um once we do that uh, we can go ahead and push uh to our git um to our open shift git repo all right so um Hopefully this will take some time as well, so um, feel free to kind of um, take a break and come back when the installation is complete. Okay, so um, uh, the 
kitchen sink application has um, installed uh, a couple of uh, dependencies for Maven and uh, I kind of built the war file uh, you can see building the war file here and um, basically took this amount of memory and this uh, this time to complete the build and um, all the cartridges were started and all the parts that needed to be um, active have been active uh, as well so uh, we can check out application and um, we can do that this uh, using the application URL here right here uh, if you're wondering uh, you can always go to your op your GUI uh, you can go to your GUI and uh, here you can see we're supposed to have uh, momentarily we're going to have the kitchen sink application all right here you can see it's using the JBoss AS7 cartridge all right so um, let's paste the URL and uh, all right let's make sure that uh, the application listens on the URL Right, so uh, for some reason it's not showing. So hopefully we've done everything correctly. So um, let's see if that works. Just refreshed it. All right, uh, so it did. Um, so. I just had to refresh it actually um, so you can see JBoss application server 7 and um, you can see uh, this is the kitchen sink application here uh, I can uh, kind of sign up uh, of course uh, has validation so uh, basically if I put the email address and it's valid if I submit that you can see not well formed email address so of course I can um, update it and it's going to go ahead and create an entry for us here uh, we can check out the endpoints here the restful endpoint so um, using the ID of one you can see it's uh, produces a an XML output uh, for this um, entity here all right and of course you can check out all members uh, using that uh, interface so um, yeah you can see that uh, we can set up the kitchen sink application um, successfully here you can see uh, of course you can go ahead and add a, a postgres sql um, cartridge and use it as a data store and it work just fine all right so hope you like this and um have any comments suggestions uh, please uh, as usual feel free to drop them in the comment box uh, below and uh, we will discuss that all right um hope to catch you in the next one and um thanks a lot